and Apache Spark has just got 80% faster compared to this time last year for streaming data. Here's how they did it. When you're streaming data, you're trying to process it as soon as it arrived. And there are some operations that require you to compare rows or look up data. This is called state. This might be things like dropping duplicates or joins. Managing these things to compare, this state can get really difficult really quickly. I'll give you an example of how. All of this state used to be stored in memory that was managed by the JVMs. This memory could run out, especially when dealing with tens of thousands of lookups or rows. Previously, we didn't have direct control over how this data was managed because the JVM would sit in the middle. And the JVM has this tendency to help by pausing every once in a while to tidy up the messy data it created. So the team has introduced RocksDB to speed things up. RocksDB interacts directly with the memory and is built for high read and write and super low latency. This means it can scale to millions of lookups. It's super easy to turn on, just use this syntax here. But it doesn't end there. Previously, to make something fault tolerant, we'd just store all the state, the workings out as we went, even if it was exactly the same as the last time we'd stored it. This has had an overhaul and now we only store the changes. Now you might be thinking, now hang on, I'm gonna still have old states and I don't want this growing forever. And you're right. The team have done an excellent job on deleting these old unused states by running it in parallel and removing any single thread dependencies. This is all on top of so many other improvements that have happened to Spark structure streaming over the last year or so, like speedier stateless streaming, so when we don't have to remember things, expanding the ecosystem and improving observability. But if you want to check this out, you might already be doing so. If you're using autoload or Delta Live tables, you've probably already used it without realizing it. But if you have a traditional streaming job and want to play around, check out this blog here and use a cluster runtime of at least 13.3. If you like Databricks and want to see what else is hot in Data and AI, follow me for more.